Hello YouTube, I am Lightly Salt and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to another quick tips and tricks video on U-Boat. I've had quite a few questions uh, recently from uh, newer players of the game asking about the torpedo types. Uh, it's something I haven't really touched on since way way back in the original tutorial days, so I thought I'd give a quick refresher. So if we go ahead and grab uh, a mechanic here, we'll scroll on into the ship, and we'll bring up our torpedo launchers. Um, so you can see here we have all T3s loaded up. We have some T1s available and some T5s. So we'll uh, begin by talking about the differences between the torpedoes. So you can see here we've got this T1. This is the uh, basically the starter torpedo for the game. These are 100 budgets cheaper than a T2 torpedo, which is the next level up, and a fair bit cheaper than a T3 and a T5. So your starter torpedo, being the T1, is a steam-propelled torpedo. And that doesn't really mean too much for the game, except for the fact that the trail of bubbles you will see in the water when your torpedo is fired are actually visible to warships. So if you were to fire a T1 at a warship under good lighting conditions, it is possible that the warship will spot the torpedo, go to alarm, and begin maneuvering in such a way that your shot may miss. They might slam on the brakes, they might turn suddenly and speed up, so on and so forth. They might be able to throw off your shot if you're using a T1. Now that being said, the T1, and I cannot stress this enough, the T1 is vastly, vastly superior to the T2 torpedo. And we'll get into that in a minute. The T1 is an extraordinarily accurate torpedo. If you're good at doing manual calculations especially, you can land a shot with a T1 from over six kilometers away. So provided it is freshly warmed and you've got your calculations done pretty darn close, you can hit a target between six and seven kilometers away. I actually have a video which uh, you should see the icon for in the upper right of your screen in which I managed to make a shot with a T1 at 6.7 kilometers using manual calculations. I'm not sure I would trust the T1 at that distance using automatic calculation, and by that I mean, of course, having, say, your, uh, your radio operator dialing the shot for you. But if you were doing manual calculations, I would absolutely believe that you can hit between six and seven kilometers. I've seen it happen, I have it recorded, I know it's a thing. Um, originally, way back in the B125 days or so, People used to talk about finding the files for this in the game, and it was it was set at 5,000 meters. That's 5K. Um, I, I, I know, as a matter of fact, you can hit things at over 6K, provided it is freshly, freshly warmed. Uh, you got to understand that, uh, as, as you can see here, the warming process begins to slowly deteriorate over time. You can see the little red bars are full on this one, not quite, almost gone, and just about gone here. Um, if you have a freshly warmed one, by the time it reaches target, it will still be primed and ready to rock and roll, right? If I was to fire, say this was a T1 right here, and I was to fire this one at a 6 kilometer target, it's probably going to dud out before it gets there because it will get cold before it gets there, right? So that's the T1 in a nutshell. I don't have T2s aboard because they're gross and I hate them. Now, the T2 is the original prototype electric torpedo. So as your T1 here is a steam-propelled torpedo, uh, the T2, let's assume this one's a T2, is an electric torpedo. The very first kick of the can for an electric torpedo. Um, they're terrible torpedoes. They're terrible. So a T2 torpedo, and again, we're pretending this is a T2, it has a 25% dud rate if your engineer does not have the skill in place which is, I think, in here-ish, one of these two, I believe, to um, lower the dud rate of your torpedoes. So right off the hop, even with a warmed torpedo, all right, even a warmed T2 torpedo, this little guy right here, this has a 25% chance of striking the target and not exploding, okay? If you fire it cold, which you should never, ever do, obviously, but if you were to fire this cold, just assume it's never going to explode. It's just going to bang into your target, and that's going to be the end of it. And now they know where you are, because they know where the torpedo came from, and you're going to be having a bad time, okay? Um, the other terrible thing about T2s, 
is, okay, let's say you go ahead and get yourself that promotion. Now your dud rate is roughly the same as the rest of your torpedoes. Great. The T2 has an absolute max distance of exactly five kilometers. So if your target is 5,010 meters away, the torpedo will turn into a dud in those last 10 meters and just bang into the ship and do no damage whatsoever. Trust me when I tell you, it's exactly five kilometers. So if you're like me and you tend to like to, to try to take out um, enemies at longer ranges, the T2 is bad. It's a bad T2. No, bad T2. So we don't like T2s. <laughs> okay, let's jump up to the T3s. Now this one's a T this one this T3 is a T3. This is the second kick of the can at an electric torpedo. This little guy is the absolute sweet spot for the game. This is the best torpedo in the game, hands down, no questions asked. It is the best. So it is very, very accurate at long distances, much like the T1. I don't know the exact distance at which point it will dud out, but I'm, I have made shots with a T3 at over 6 kilometers. So I know it can go better than 6. It's very, very accurate, very, very nice. Um, the other side of... The other bonus to the T3 is that we talked about how the T1 makes bubbles in the water that warships can spot. The T3 does not. The T3 is invisible to the warships until it smashes into them. So they are not going to see a T3 coming even on the sunniest day in the middle of August. It, uh, beautiful calm sea, they won't see this one coming. So T3 has all the accuracy of a T1 and the distance of a T1 with none of the holy crap a torpedo's coming towards us and we have to turn the boat aspect. So T3 again, absolute best torpedo in the game. And if you think otherwise, let's fight. Let's fight about it. And go ahead and hit me in the comments and bring it on. The T3 is the best torpedo, trust me. Your T5. Now, a T5 is a very interesting animal. Um, the T5 is a sound-seeking torpedo. And what I mean by that is, when you fire a T5 at a target, no matter what kind of calculation you've made, so let's say you've calculated it perfectly to smash into your target uh, dead amidships. The T5 is not going to hit your target amidships. It's not going to happen unless you're really, really close to your target, and in which case it's going to dud out anyway. The T5 is going to truck towards the enemy, and then it's going to zip off to wherever it wants to go, get behind your enemy, and sneak up behind it and smash into its propellers. This is going to search for sound. Now that sounds awesome, and you know what? It can be if you know how to use them. But if you were to say fire, a t let's say you were you were under orders from BDU to find the Empire Zabumafu, all right? You fire the T-5 at the Empire Zabumafu that's in a warship convoy of 17 warships, all right? Let's say you can get the, the you dial in the perfect calculation. It's, it's probably going to zip off to the closest sound signature and hit whatever it wants. So once this leaves your boat, all control that you had over it with your calculations is now gone. So it's just going to go and find something that it wants to kill and kill it. That that's Or at least try to kill it. That's what's going to happen with the T5. So what are the situations in which we would want to use the T5? Well, um, if you came across a, uh, a, co a war convoy, so let's say three destroyers, right? Nothing but warships. You could just start launching T5s at regular intervals and just wreck their whole day. So long as they're moving and making noise, the T5 is going to find them. So that's where it can come in handy. The other side where a T5 can come in handy, and a big shout out to the community for this, is if you were to load them in the rear launchers, okay? Let's say for the sake of argument that this T3 back here is a T5, all right? Let's say I put a T5 here in the torpedo launcher itself, and I put a T5 in the stern torpedo storage. Now let's say we are running away from a war convoy. Oh no, we've run into ships right here. Let's, um, let's draw, uh, this, this is a boat. This, this is, this is a warship, okay? You see how that's, it's gonna, it's going that way. Anyway, the warship is over here, and we need to run away from the warship, okay? So we fire up to speed, and we've got to get away. What we could do is, once we spin around, 
we could fire a T5 out the rear tube as we're trucking away, right? Now, the warship is basically going to drive itself into your T5. So you can sort of use them like a booby trap, right? You're running away, they're chasing you, you fire a T5 at them, and they end up hitting it themselves. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to calculate anything at all so long as it leaves your ship, it's going to go find the bad people and blow them up. Speaking of the orientation of your ship, um, I'm asked the question over and over lately. Um, some people that have picked up on a few of my videos maybe haven't seen the whole tutorial uh, saga, and I understand that. Um, the orientation of your ship does not matter when you are firing at a target. So if you're using T1s, 2s, or 3s, and let's say you've only got one left in the rear tube back here, okay? And your target is all the way out there, all right? You can fire that aft torpedo at the target that's out there, and the torpedo is simply going to leave the tube right out the back and go forward. It's, it's going to do a 180 and zip off in that direction. Let's see if I can go ahead and show you that. Okay, so here we've got a target. Uh, this is a... Liberty? Yes, Liberty. So here's our Liberty, and she is heading off in this direction, and we're also heading that direction. So what I'd like to do is fire my rear torpedo at her, and we'll, we'll settle, settle everybody down about questions as to how come you can hit things when you're going parallel to them, and so on and so forth. Again, the orientation of your boat does not matter currently in build 127, okay? I don't know if that's something that's coming in the future, but as of absolutely right this second, it's 100% fine. Okay, we've got Torpedo 5 loaded up, ready to rock and roll. So this is the aft of our ship. Our target is way out in front of us here somewhere. Let's go ahead and fire Tube 5. Nose! And she is on track to the target. And here's our rear shot closing in. And there we are. Okay, so it's not a miss, Mr. Knox. You're wrong. Okay, so again, here's our boat. Our orientation is this is the nose of our boat in this direction. The rear of our boat is back here. Our target was to our... Target was to port. So the rear torpedo left the tube, spun around, and hit that target. So again, your orientation absolutely does not matter. It's 100% fine. What I'd like to do now is go ahead and load up a T5. That was a T3 that we just fired. And the T1 will act exactly the same way. A T2 will act the same way, provided it's warmed correctly and the shot is not over 5 kilometers. Okay, Mr. Community has gone ahead and loaded up a T5 for me. It's nice and warm. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select our target. Um, I'm going to plug in 87 for its course instead of 78, which we had here. I'll, f I'll plug in 5 knots here instead of 6, and we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and flood our T5. And you can see here that if you mouse over each one of your torpedoes, it'll tell you which kind is which. So let's flood that T5. We're out ahead of the target. Our, our calculation is off. So we, we know that this shot should 100% miss. So let's go ahead and fire it. Alright, it's heading in roughly the, the correct direction, as we would expect it to, because we weren't too far off on our calculation. And let's go ahead and watch and see what happens. All right, you can just see there it steered itself to the aft of the ship. Now, this ship is alarmed and is maneuvering. As you can see, it is alarmed and it is, uh, you know, twisting and turning and increasing speed and decreasing speed. So it is moving. It's a moving target. So here's our torpedo zipping along. You can see it's making little micro calculations as it goes. 
40 Sekunden, bis Torpedo ein so, by my calculations, uh, 87 degree shot, so on and so forth, should have put that torpedo over here somewhere, right? This thing should be missing by a mile. Alright, so here it's coming in. And again, this is our T5, our sound-seeking torpedo. So it should have missed well forward of the ship. But here it is creeping up towards the aft. It might be a little bit difficult for you to see there, sorry. I'm doing my best. I'm just going to follow her in. Alright, and she's turning into the target here. And there's the prop. Boom. So, with a T5, so long as you get it roughly in the direction, it's going to hit something. I don't know what it's going to hit per se. There, there's really no way to tell, because it just sort of does its own thing. But uh, it's going to hit something. That, that's basically what I'm trying to get at there. Now, the issue with a T5, and, and this, is something, this is something that's very, very important to note. If you have very rough seas... And it, it won't happen every time, but hang on a sec. Alright, now we've got rough seas, okay? Everything's pretty choppy right now. We don't have any depth steers working, the boat's bobbing around. If you have seas that look like that, alright, and you fire a T5, and again, not every time, but sometimes, the torpedo, due to the amount of noise, you can see here surface disturbance, um, surface noise, surface noise. It's fluctuating between 4% and 3%. And the surface dis disturbances are fluctuating between 56%, 100%, and so on and so forth. It is possible, even kind of likely, that a T5 torpedo, if you were to fire it in, let's say, this direction, okay, that T5 might lose its way in the noise of the storm and turn around on you. And it's probably going to get you, honestly. I've seen it happen once. I've seen it one time. And um, uh, a couple of people in my Discord, they've talked about it happening as well. But if you have really rough seas, and I mean pretty rough seas, using T5s can be very dangerous, okay? Depending on how much noise your sub is making. I don't know if you can hide yourself by killing engines. I really don't know. I haven't played with it that much. But just be aware that a T5, while it's going to do its own thing, steer itself to the target, you know, max relax, set and forget kind of idea, it could spin around and mess your day up. All right, folks, and that has been my uh, quick tips and tricks on the uh, absolute basics of torpedoes. Um, if there's anything I didn't touch on, please go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Uh, all of my social media can be found in the description of each video and, of course, on my About page. Until next time, I have been Lightly Salted. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.